this is how to juggle. Why you're at home, you're kind of why you're watching TV or doing things that don't use your hands. Just do it in your free time. So the way you learn to juggle, first do is one ball. Try throwing it and try getting used to throwing one ball and catching it without moving your catching hand in the catch. It feels kind of menial, but it is useful because it means that when you have more balls, if your throw is good, you don't actually have to think about the catch and it just happens because your hand is in the right place. So if you can do this consistently, then try with two balls. Uh, the way I learned was with remembering throw, throw, catch, catch. So you throw one ball, you throw the other one, you catch the first and you catch the second. So throw, throw, catch, catch. So that's how you do it. So uh, a lot of people will do that instinctively. Uh, a way of breaking this habit is just trying to throw the second ball no matter what. So throw, throw. So do throw, throw, catch, catch. Even if the second ball goes far away and you don't catch it, that is fine. That's still better than kind of passing it because you're getting the throw instinct in. Try not to throw them at the same time because then there's no extra space for a third ball to fill in. Uh, and uh, try to catch them also at different times. So a lot of people instinctively throw them so that you catch them at the same time. Try to break that just through practicing. Uh, so to do this, first try with kind of right hand first or whatever feel comfortable, and then make sure to switch the other hand. So try both directions. So throw, throw, catch, catch. Well, there's one in the air and you're placing it in the air with the one in your hand. So try right hand, left hand. Uh, so try each hand first, then try alternating which hand you're doing first. Uh, and then uh, kind of try to break down the speed time between throwing that. So throw one, throw another, and then just try to do that alternating, but with the speed getting uh, smaller between each throw. And then this is what you'll have if you kind of get that down working. So if you get throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch, then this is the pattern with three balls, but there's an extra throw that would be there. So with three, uh, so an easy way of imagining throw, throw, catch, catch is there's one in the air and then you replace it with one in your hand. So with three balls, you throw the hand with two hands in it, and then while that's in the air, you replace it. So you replace the ball, and then you replace that ball. So uh, each each time you swap, it's the same action as with two balls, uh, but you just do it repeatedly. So it's one in the air, you swap it, swap, swap. So one in the air, swap, 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 swap. So. Each time there should always be one ball in the air, and then as it goes towards your hand, throw the ball in that hand and catch it with the other hand. Uh, and to make it easier to learn, try having a flat surface in front of you so that if you do drop them, then they just fall onto that surface and you can pick them up instead of having them roll away and having to go after them. Uh, so if you don't have juggling balls, most people don't. Oranges, tangerines, tennis balls all work quite well. And then you can just do that while you're watching videos or something while you're in quarantine. Great. Join Sex Society.